what the effect is. Yeah, sure. And, and, and they think so. You know, I mean, it's, it's good to have to see in Richardson. It's usually in Austin or DC. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, uh, it really is uh, the Dallas Promise, and I often refer to it as the Promise Network, is a collaboration between our colleges, and Kay will sit here with the, uh, with the Richmond crew, uh, our, our big players in it. Uh, let me start with what it's actually not. Uh, folks often think it's a scholarship program. It's really not. Uh, it is uh, about education transformation. And as we uh, begin to think about the, uh, the disconnect uh, between what's happening in the community, with when you look, only 27% of Dallas County high school graduates go on to earn a post-secondary credential of any type, certificate, two-year degree, or four-year degree, within six years, and that was trending downward. Uh, as we looked at that, we realized we really have to do something different, we have to think differently uh, about this. Now, we have this great program called Rising Star, which we still do, which made scholarships available uh, to high school graduates uh, in the area, but it was more of just handing out the money, not fundamentally changing the behavior. So let me start with what we've seen from year one. Partnered with 31 high schools, and there are a whole list of requirements that we determine whether or not we're ready. Number one, we started with the worst performing high schools in the highest poverty area, for example, Spruce. Uh, and, and 18 of these schools were on the, uh, what they call the IR list, uh, the improvement required list, uh, 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 as we work with them. That's really how we started to change that. So Spruce, of uh, all 31, they were only averaging 11% every going on and giving them that percent. Uh, so we, 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 we knew we had a model, we knew we could do something differently, but we really needed it collaboratively. So uh, when we look at our data, when we look at economically disadvantaged individuals, there's only one thing that determines correlates with whether or not they go to college. And it's not grades, and it's not ranking class. It's whether or not they fill out and submit the free federal financial aid uh, application. Uh, if they turn into what we call a fast buck, they are highly likely to go on. If they don't do it, they're almost certainly won't go uh, to, to college. Just, it's just that simple. And so what we really designed with the Dallas County Promise is recognizing, and I mentioned tuition, how we all officially keep it down. Well, that means that a Pell Grant will virtually cover 100% of the total cost in Tennessee. So that's the other metric we look at. How do we keep tuition so that the Pell Grant will cover? And make that happen. And then how do we get students to complete the uh, program? So this is really about an effort to get students college ready, uh, whether in high school, which we've asked that the, the high school work with us to improve reading in the ninth grade, writing in the tenth, math in the eleventh, start college level courses. And then what we do, we work uh, with, uh, we ask the seniors this year, uh, we, we had 9,600 seniors in 31 high schools. This year we're going to be adding 12 more every year uh, to that. So we have 43, that would be 16,000 students that we work with, which is more students than in 12 states uh, in, in, in the country. So, so it's a, a, a large, large effort to, to do this. We ask that they, uh, pledge to go to college and they get their, their parents uh, to also join them in, in, in the pledge and to complete. Uh, out of the 9,600 this year, uh, 96, excuse me, 9,300, 96% pledge. Also, getting that fast uh, we, uh, we we set a goal, uh, because we've been stuck in the low 40s for 30 years, uh, of just getting it up to 47%. We thought that would be a good goal to, to shoot for. Good news is, just saw the data uh, yesterday, 67% completed the fast one. So is that translated into something different? Well, see, but, uh, uh, and now they're, they're ready. So we're up in those 31 high schools this fall, 40% uh, in, in enrollment from those year over year. That's transformative. UNT Dallas is our partner. This one is up 30% in high schools. And it's allowing students to take advantage of something they already had. They just weren't using it. No one was helping them. See, that the problem is there are very few high schools and very few colleges that own that transition from high school to college. Uh, and that's where we lose most of the people. And so what the promise does is really own the transition. It communicates quickly with students, with parents, with teachers, with counselors, with principals. It shares the data about how many of those students have pledged. It compares them to every high school. It tells them how many uh, students have uh, 
take a build out the fast and submit that. Uh, it tells them how many have actually taken that next step and enrolled in college. So it's, uh, it's both a, let's leverage what we have, let's get partners that will work with us, and we fund it now well, through the uh, DCCC Foundation. In fact, we realize that we want students to go to UT Dallas, uh, you know, to UT, uh, Dallas, we want them to go to UT uh, Dallas, we want them to uh, go to a and Commerce, or wherever it is that they choose to go as well. We realized that we were tricking students up. We would show up to help them complete their paperwork and say, we're from Richmond. Well, a lot of students say, I'm going here. And so they didn't get the help they needed. And then El Centro would come in, or, 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 another, or, or another institution. And so we realized that we needed to take this outside ourselves. So our foundation did something that occurred. Uh, we wrote a commit, the commit partnership, uh, a $1.2 million check to staff up and build up the, uh, the promise so that they could work on behalf of every student. And, uh, and, and so that, because college for all means all uh, in this case, and that's really what we're about. We can guarantee that free pathway uh, to uh, an associate's degree. We now have uh, uh, UT uh, Dallas has jumped up and said, we'll get the next two years if they graduate with an associate's degree from, uh, from one of our seven colleges uh, going forward. So there's no excuse anyone being on the staff can't afford college. So that's very important that you outsource kind of core function of these are own. Yeah. Is this happening in any other community college district in Texas or the nation of the just with this promise? <coughs> it, it's taken off uh, pretty rapidly across the country. There are about 200 of them now, and it, and it just is across the United States. A few have been around for a long time, but most of them, I would say, are within the last 24 months that they've been kind of uh, stood up. Uh, but what is unusual here, we have the only one that was actually started by a, an institution of higher education. Virtually every other one, it was Chambers of Commerce, it was mayors, it was the legislature, it was some other entity said, we've got to do something to intervene because we're not getting the graduates to do it. We're not skills of doing that indeed. Our foundation said, let's be the ones that stand up and, uh, and we'll look up if that happens. So uh, it's, it's allowed us, I think, probably grow much faster than we would have otherwise. Well, speaking of transparency,